Today's episode is all about side pieces. Whoa, <laughs> side pieces, bro. You, hey. You know what, you're right. My wife might watch this one. All jokes aside, if you're looking to steal the show this holiday season, we got all the side dish recipes you need. Meet us in the kitchen, let's make it happen. All right guys, we're gonna treat this just like we would if we were making Thanksgiving for real. That means you gotta start with what takes the longest to cook, and for us today, that's the collard greens. So what we got, AB? Hey, super simple, man. Look, I'm gonna start with a little bit of this bacon fat, right? Bacon fat, bacon grease, all I can say is that's nothing but flavor, right? Absolutely. And check this out, nephew, I see you, you got me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I knew I'm gonna you was go coming to town, we had to get that's fresh, right. That's right. fresh garlic press. <laughs> fresh garlic press. That might be from Williams-Sonoma, that's expensive right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coming from you, partner, I know. Okay, so look, now that we got the, you know, the garlic in there, what we want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and just put the, you know, to put the onions in. We quarter those onions up. Right. All right, so we got the quartered onions in here. What you got right there for us? Look, we got the smoked turkey, look, these smoked turkey parts, right? These wings. So I'm going to just go ahead and just put them in here like this. Now I'm going to ask, just go ahead and hit it with that chicken broth. And then right. we just want to cover it up a little bit. After that, we're going to bring this up to a boil. Now look, we doing that because we got to get this turkey, these turkey parts to like soften up, nice right? Nice and tender. Nice and tender. Fall off the bone. Yes, sir. That's going to be the, the flavor for your greens right there, people. So don't skip this step. Please this don't. This is important. Please don't. About six cups of chicken broth going in. All right, so look, the main thing is, look, we want to bring that up to a boil, right? Soften that up because that's going to be the meat and the flavor, man. Good thing you got the, that smoked turkey though. Oh yeah. I like that, nephew. All right, so now that we got the smoked turkey going or the pot liquor, some folks call it, <laughs> what are we about to do now? Hey, pot liquor, hey, we about to turn it into the pot liquor. So look, we gonna keep it real simple, man. Listen, this is gonna start everybody to talking right now because if some people got this, you know, we, we're gonna do is really trim. So if I go like this, this is gonna get them to talking in your comments, man. Because okay. if I do that, they're gonna say, hey, that ain't the way it take too long, AB. Right, so I'll just set that there, but then some people say you can do like this, look. And that's one way, right? And then some people, check it out, when you get down there, down down south, man, that Alabama, we start to get close to that water, they say don't do nothing with that. You supposed to do like this. Oh, no, you gotta get rid of look, that. Look, no, they say like this, and you throw that in there too. They wrong. <laughs> you about to get them started, man. That's all right. Them stems don't get as tender as I, as I like. Right. By the time they get tender, you do cook the greens they, all the hell. Yeah, all the way down. Huh? So I'm gonna go ahead and just expedite them like this. I just take them, stack them like this, right? I don't care what size is on what. Obviously the biggest one is on the bottom, right? So we take them and I like to roll them tight, man. So I roll them like this and I just bring them over and I keep, it's really no, this ain't rocket science. You know what I mean? But when you roll it like that, then you get it nice and tight. You can take whichever end you want to, you know what I mean? You just cut. Now it's up to you how you want to cut them. But this is how I get down like this. Right. And just repeat that process for there all the go. greens. There you go. Once the meat's falling off the bone, we throw them in the pot. There you go. Beautiful. All right, my friends, while the greens are getting started, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our stuffing next. I got one stick of melted butter here. We're gonna add two pounds of Jimmy Dean sausage. Allow that to get brown and cook that off. And then we'll start to add in our herbs. Before you get excited, I'm talking about the herbs you cook with, not the kind that cook you. Get our veggies in there, get everything nice and tender, and then start to add in our stuff. All right, guys, now it's time to start seasoning this. So we got my AP seasoning and the biggest chicken bouillon container I've ever seen in my life. Uh, gotta get that flavor in there though. So you, chick, you can use the chicken bouillon or the better than bouillon base that you guys have seen me use before. This has a little MSG also, which is a flavor enhancer. There we go. And then I'm going in with some Italian paste and some garlic paste. If you want to use the fresh stuff, by all means, do your thing. A good tablespoon or two of that. And then a tablespoon of the Italian paste. What you really want to focus on is making sure that the flavor is spot on before you add your eggs to the mix. Because once the eggs are in there, you don't want to taste it until it's done cooking. So make sure your flavor is right before you add those eggs. Smells good. All right guys, so once the flavor is absolutely money, it's safe to go ahead and add in those eggs. Give that a thorough mix, put it in your casserole dish and get that in a 350 degree oven. This is what I like to do when we get to this stage right here. If you're looking at that right now, for sure you can see this. It's starting to split. That's what you want. You want to have a little meat in there, right? So I'm gonna take some of this you know, Creole seasoning that we got right here and just sprinkle some of this in here. I'm gonna give this a stir. This is what's gonna give us a little bit of a bite to it. And then this right here, 
you know about this already, right? This right here is fire. This kind of like just wakes it up a little bit. Just a little bit on the low sodium side too. So that's what I'm loving. Now I'm gonna give it a stir and then we're gonna go ahead and taste. All right, so after tasting that, I'm telling you folks, that right there was fire. Now we're just gonna take our greens. We bring them back into play. You see the liquid, we don't worry about that. We just put it in here, right? So even if it fills up our pot, you know this is nothing but any of your greens carry so much water. So listen, it's gonna weather down, add some flavor down into it also. So what I do is I put some in here and I put my top on, right? Once I get my top on there, I let it weather down. It's only gonna take a few minutes and then I add the rest because I'm gonna be able to get all of that in this pot. All right guys, it's time to prep the mac and cheese. I'm a roux guy, you can use your eggs if you want to, but I'm a fan of using a roux. For that, we need to melt some butter. I got about a half stick of butter here. We're gonna go ahead and melt that, then add in the all-purpose flour, which is effectively gonna create a roux, which is gonna be a thickening agent for our mac and cheese. Now, once we have the roux started with the butter and the flour incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and add in my secret ingredient, which is a little sweetened condensed milk. Now it's not gonna make your macaroni and cheese sweet. What it's gonna do is blend the flavors together, let them marry. There's a lot of sharpness, a lot of different flavors. We're using four and five different cheeses and that subtle sweetness is gonna bring everything together. If you haven't tried it yet, you gotta trust me on this one. Once we have the roux started, we're gonna go ahead and begin to season. I got my all-purpose seasoning, a little smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika if you have a smoky cheese, like a smoked gouda or something like that. We don't have a smoky cheese today, so I'm gonna use smoked paprika. Two cups of heavy cream, one cup of half and half or whole milk. And just give that a good mix to combine. All right, so once all the cream and the milk is in here, we're gonna go ahead and add my second secret ingredient, which is about a quarter cup of sour cream. Now, if you don't have sour cream, you can also use about four ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna add a nice creamy element to the mac and cheese. The key here is to get this as flavorful as possible. You wanna salt your pasta water when you make your macaroni and cheese as well. That way the noodles are salted and seasoned. And then we'll get this in here with the cheeses of your choice. Today we're going with mozzarella, sharp cheddar, Colby Jack, and Parmesan. Okay, so look, now we are finna go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. This right here is my specialty, folks. So look, as I'm melting this, there is no real order for this. This doesn't have to all the way be melted. We are gonna get it all, so I'm just gonna come with my brown sugar. Go get your A1C tested after this one. All right. So add that in. Hey, I like the way you do that, man. All right. All right, man. So look. Orange over, juice? Yeah. Let's go with a little orange juice. Oh, you didn't already Juice of one it. orange. Got to get it. the seeds out of there. That's it's right. It's a non GMO orange. Oh. Let some of that acid cut it down. Thin it out just a little bit. Yeah, I noticed how he had me add the white sugar and the vanilla extract. <laughs> yeah. I'm si sensing the trend here. Hey, you the one that got me using the black cutting board. You got the white cutting board. What's up with that? All right, now we're going in with two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna eyeball it because I'm a damn professional. Then I'm gonna come right back over the top and add a couple of teaspoons of this cinnamon. Smells good. Smells like Thanksgiving in here. Go ahead and give it a stir. Oh, yes. And then for the nutmeg, we put in about like a, just about a teaspoon, right? You know, this nutmeg go a long way. Absolutely. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let it, we just gonna let it cook for about, I'm gonna say we just give it about one or two minutes. Once everything is mixed together, get some more milk on that, uh, melted on that sugar. Go ahead and hold up. I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding these in there. Got the circles, very authentic. Oh yeah. Style there. About how long does this take start to finish? Uh, I'm gonna say uh, about one hour. Okay. You know what I mean, from start to finish. Now I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and just stir them up so everything can get, get, get Fold that in. So everything can get coated. And you prefer this method over the oven? Yes. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. To try. I'm gonna tell you why, because if you- Sounds faster. If you, you know, you're cooking for the holidays, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, everybody don't have a double oven. Right. You know what I mean, so Oven's you already full. got, yeah, the oven's already full, so- Good pro tip. Man. Now it's time for my favorite part of the job. We're about to get in here for the taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. Check this out, nephew. I am so tired of looking up at you as you're doing what all you that doing talking. For? You start here. That's a good choice. Look, oh yeah. And I'm gonna get a little bit of this here. Come back and get that. Yeah. And we gotta do some greens. 
I'm gonna leave that that's other a, part up to you. That's a triple triple threat right there. Yes, sir. Ooh. It's a little hot. And it's creamy though. Cheers. Mm. You see this fork in my hand? Mm hmm You know what I'm about to do, right? Yep, but I still yeah. got a There's all this right. Other people gotta eat this with me. Right, right. So look, hand me that one down there, there. Make sure. All right. Did grandma's recipe justice. 